Evaluation of an Atmos main spring. We have two main springs from 528 models, both within the same decade. Notice how big the spring on the left is and how tight the spring on the right is. The spring on the left is about 110 millimeters wide. The spring on the right is around 65 millimeters wide. That's typically what I see. When I see a spring on the left that large, it probably tells me that maintenance hasn't been performed. I think sticky grease has stretched the, the spring out beyond its life expectancy. I typically will get a spring like that in a clock that's not working, it's not winding properly, it has low amplitude. A good main spring is very, very difficult to source. You have to get them used on eBay. For every three springs I buy, I get one good one. So we're gonna do a little test. Right now I'm putting the 110 millimeter wide spring in a barrel and we're going to put it in this um, extra frame that I have. We're going to do some testing. We're going to pump the coil spring, see how many pumps it takes. We're going to see if we how many rotations of the barrel arbor we get. Now, I'm, first I'm going to make sure that the uh, we're within specs with the coil spring. Now watch the red dot on the barrel arbor. That's the little silver thing. We want to see anywhere from five to eight rotations. That's within specifications. Anything less, we're out of specs. Anything more, we're out of specs. It took nine pumps of the coil spring to turn the arbor. We barely got just over five. So yeah, we're within specs. Let's listen. All right, I'm just testing to see how much energy um, you can really feel it on the hand when you release the energy that those springs that are blown out just don't have as much oomph as a tighter spring. Okay, here we have the 65 millimeter spring going in the barrel. We're gonna do the same thing. We're going to install it in the frame. Everything's the same. Everything has been lubricated with Mobius 9020. We're gonna check the coil spring distance, make sure we're within specs. Looks good to go. It is going to take 11 pumps of the coil spring to get the coil spring strength and the main spring within equilibrium. But watch the rotation, watch the red dot. We get 6.5 rotations out of the barrel arbor, which means we've got more built-in energy in the main barrel. And at the very end, we're gonna listen to both of these. Now I'm gonna be quiet so we can listen to this one. Man, it just wanted to rip at the beginning, didn't it? Now here we're gonna do it again. This is the 110 and then following is gonna be the 65. All right, good luck with your clock.